As you can see here, there are many mallets, but not as many as I had hoped. I think some of them ran off. Definitely remember ordering more than one of these, yet here we are. All right, let's talk about these. All right, the hard 264 Grom. It's a classic. It's a very light mallet. It's very hard and articulate. Uh, if you're playing a lick in the top register of the keyboard, it's pretty good. I'll give you a little sound demo here. Yeah, very hard articulate mallet. I would not use it for most things. Uh, okay, 207, it's a vibe mallet from Vic Firth. It's kind of a medium hard. I guess I'll uncover a vibe here to do some demos as well. So, I mean, it sounds fine. Oh, the pedal, pedal's up. It sounds fine everywhere on the register. It's a pretty stock, like, medium hard. It's, uh, it's slightly softer than, like, uh, the white Groms or the 188s. So it can be beneficial. Like it could be something maybe outside vibes hold while inside mallets hold, or sorry, inside vibes hold the hard groms, for example. We're gonna skip over the xylo mallets because I'm not really an expert. Ah yes, the 1003. Truly a class act. There's not many words to be said, it's perfection. If the birch was not finished, it would be better. So I guess it's not perfection. It's still pretty close. Ah, the juxtaposition. Here we have a big pile of uh, 184s, white 83s, uh, 182s. Some of the worst mallets that exist. I mean, I'll just pluck a couple random ones here. So we have, this is a 183. And this is also a 183. Of course, different eras here, but God, look at how different they are. They're like two different mallets entirely. And it's not just the era. Like, let's look at a couple that are the same. Okay, here are two 183s. They still look completely different. And I'll tell you what, they sound completely different too. These mallets are the bottom of the barrel. Vic Firth needs to get their act together. Speaking of Vic Firth getting their act together, here we have one of the best mallets that Vic Firth makes, which is the 276, the, the Ian Moyers, the green ones. Um, they're very, very good. I'd say, I'll show you that they're similar to the 1003s. It's kind of like Vic Firth equivalent. So let's play a little bit with these. Feel really good, relatively lightweight, it's very articulate. So not quite the same. These have a little bit more weight to them. And they're just a little bit more toneful. These are similar in articulation, but since they're slightly lighter, not as toneful. But yeah, they're good mallets. If you have to get Vic, get these as your general hard marimba mallets. All right. So now we have uh, Vic Firth 188s, also some 187s, 189s, just different degrees of hardness. They have a tendency to become bananas, but I mean, a lot of rattan mallets, regardless of brand, tend to become bananas. They're actually pretty good. They hold up well. Um, a lot of these are years old and they're still decent. I mean, they show their age, but yeah, they're kind of indestructible. Like you're not really gonna see the, the yarn start peeling off of these. So decent offering from Vic Firth. Now we get to the, the Ian Grom vibe mallets. So the purples, which is 265. And then what number are these? 267s, the whites. Okay, the, the white 267, so these, probably the best vibe mallets from Vic Firth, in my opinion, for the marching activity, like generally speaking. 
I'll, I'll do you a quick uh, comparison of the three of these that we have. We got the blacks, we got the purples, we got the whites. All of which are good, and all of which sound good pretty much all across the instrument, but the purples are definitely more suitable for the low register. Yeah, when you start getting up there, it's not really very articulate, but it's not meant to be. And you get like, yeah, very bright articulate sound. Very good in the top. It sounds fine in the bottom as well, so scooch these over. Yeah, they're just good. And uh, they hold up really well. The black ones are awesome. They're just a good general mallet. They sound good across the whole range. I do recommend it. I would say like maybe an outfit inside uh, vibes with like the whites out and then uh, outside vibes get the blacks. Maybe purples on occasion, but you'll get some good blend. All right, let's put these back. Okay. Ah, uh, what a story here. The, the 3004 is a very good mallet, like a very good medium hard which i loved in uh to complement the thousand three because uh, it's not as hard as the thousand three and it's a little bit more toneful because it's heavier so it was a really good like medium selection but they changed the design and it's gotten worse so now they're puffier and softer this almost looks like it should be a three thousand three but it's not this is a three thousand four so I don't know if they've changed the, the Rarick line, but I'm kind of a little bit peeved because we ordered some of these to replace some broken 3004s, and these don't match. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, the IP2003. So it's kind of airy sounding, and it's a pretty lightweight mallet, and it's kind of soft. So they're really not my favorite. I'll give you a little demo. Like, you can articulate with them if you really play into the board. But generally speaking, they're kind of just airy. Like, you can kind of hear that. If you just play with a good flow and you're not, like, pounding the crap out of the keyboard, it's just kind of airy sounding. And then for, like, rolls and stuff... I mean, it's okay, but there's not much body to the sound because of how light they are. So, I mean, they're decent as like your soft mallet for marimbas, but uh, a better selection for your soft mallet for marimbas is the 4001, the, the Renick series. Uh, they're still a little bit articulate. They're very weighty and they're very toneful. Oh, it's like night and day. So let me compare these with the 2003s here. Yeah, the tone on these is much worse unless you start slamming. These just do the work for you because the cores are heavier. They're very top heavy as well. They sound so good. Yeah, highly recommend the Renick 4001. All right, 4002.5. It's slightly softer than 1003. It's uh, heavier than 1003. It's a super good medium hard. I love it. We'll compare to the 1003 really quick if you're curious. So, it's just, yeah, they're much lighter. These seem to have slightly smaller shafts as well. So, articulate, bright sound. Articulate, slightly darker sound. It's really good. And if you, if you play with lighter touch, you 
can also get that kind of medium to medium soft sound. So it's pretty versatile. Overall, very good mallet. So general consensus is the Vic Firth stuff is hit or miss. There's some garbage Vic Firth mallets and there's some decent Vic Firth mallets. The IP stuff is like pretty good across the board. Build quality, really good. Some mallets that are just meh. Some mallets that are like S tier, like goaded. Like you'll, you'll never find another mallet like the 1003. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching.